Sergeant Keen I here reporting for duty and today we are bringing a new game to the channel called Under Rail. Under Rail is an isometric turn based game that's supposed to be similar or the spiritual successor, successor, well not successor, I would say more, you know, influenced by the original Fallout 1 and 2 where it was turn based and isometric, isometric which means, you know, it's like boarded out and pixelish graphics and things like that you're at your angle so you see your person in third character or third person view um the game is currently on steam it just released today fully it was an early access for like about a year and a half or two and it just had a full release 1.0 release today for 13 dollars and 99 cents right now it's normally 15 but it's like on a seven percent off deal or whatever but anyways we're gonna head and start a game today. From what I understand, this game is uh, very interesting. Very interesting when it comes to builds and things like that, which I'm super excited about because I really like when your decisions and how you build your character really affect how the game plays. So set the difficulty of the experience. Yes, uh, you know, normal. Provides a lot of challenge to an average hardcore player with less room for error in combat. This is the way the game is meant to be played. Sure, okay, oddity. You gain experience up by collecting oddities scattered under the under rail and by completing quests. Higher end oddities are found in progressively more dangerous and hard to access areas. No experience is granted for skill usage, killing, force, and blah blah blah. Through some oddities are only dropped by creatures. What about classic? Gain experience by killing, completing quests, and utilizing certain skills. Ah! you know like uh you know like i don't know which one i want to do i mean this is more like classic fallout kind of thing right here like you just kind of get xp from doing anything this i mean you get xp by completing quests you know what we're gonna try this oddity one just because it sounds pretty interesting i would like to try it out now I'm doing, you know, full melee playthrough in Fallout 4 right now, so I think I'm gonna actually go like, uh, find a stealthy shooter kind of one in this one, because I think uh, being in full melee and under rail, which is basically you're under in a uh, train system, the whole game is like in a train, old train system, everyone lives underground because, you know, the soil, the soil, the uh, ground level is actually too irradiated to live on. So, uh, let's, let's, can we pick a different avatar? It doesn't look like, alright, well, we can pick a name, it's definitely gonna be Sergeant Kenai, obviously. I like the sound of me typing in my name. Okay. So, strength measures your character's muscles, affects melee damage, carrying capacity is also important for characters who intend to use heavier weapons such as a sniper, or assault rifles, and sledgehammers. Okay, we can put like one point into there. Uh, dexterity means the dex is reflex and hand-eye coordination and finger nimbleness. It may affect things such as operating locks, thievery, throwing, and initiative increases critical strike chance of melee attacks. High dexterity also reduces action point costs of unarmed and light weapons, pistols. Okay, I'm not too worried about dexterity. Agility represents the character's reflexes, fleet of footness, as well as affinity towards athletic and acrobatic activities, among other things, affects dodge, evasion, initiative, and movement points. Also allows the character to move more. Qu ah, yes, definitely stealth right there. Constitution, not a big deal. That's going to deal with HP and stamina and things like that. And then, uh, but yeah, their armor suit for defenses and the things. Okay, but it's blah blah blah. Who plan for making the armor suit the main defense? It also helps prevent and lessen the effects of poison diseases. Makes sense, you know, poisons, things like that. Perception increases your character's ability to discern objects from far away to help notice their vicinity. It helps character use ranged weapons more effectively. Ah, uh, yes. Uh, will, I'm sure that has to do with such as pain, overwhelming odds, force will into others. Heavily affects all psi. Just to see, you can have psi abilities, like psychic abilities in this game. But I think is crazy. I would love to be able to do that, but we're gonna be going towards, you know, stealthy and long range and pew pew. Okay, intelligence depends how well a character learns and reasons. It also is important to for a character the focus on science. Uh, disciplines are dependent on also effects. So, you know, I think we're gonna go minus a point in constitution, up in dexterity because of lock picking and things like that. Maybe. One more point minus in dexterity, lowest we can put, and then one into. Nah, okay, we don't want. Uh, let's leave this as that. I don't want to get too low. I don't want to be like, you know, pooperino. So, skills. Now we get to this 100. Oh, that's a lot of. 
bullcrap skills. Like a lot of bullcrap and skills. Okay, so how much? I don't know how far this can go. Increases your precision damage with any type of pistol, rifle, SMG. Includes both firearms and energy weapons. Higher skill, more advanced. Okay. So I think it will want to at least do 15 in the here. At least. And then it's getting a. Yeah, re related base affinity is on perception, throwing, crossbows, melee. Uh, definitely bumping that up to like 10 each. Easily. Like that's, you know. Stealth? Hell yeah. But like. 20, 15 points in the stealth. Oh, we can only go 15 up to max? I didn't know that. Okay. About like 5. There's so many skills. Oh, man. Uh, like 5 in the nair. This to 10. This to 10. This like 5. How about electronics? Biology tailoring. Uh, represents your tailoring and making cloth pieces, mechanics, represents this is used in crafting, says weapons, traps, we can put like five in there. Mmm, chemistry, using crafting, explosives, biology, healing, psi restoring, cognitives, also enables you to extract useful psi, yeah, sure, let's put like five in there. Psi, okay, this is where, okay, alright, merchantile, we want to be a good merchant, let's go like ten points in the merchantile. Persuasion, let's do like seven, eight, and then we have 12 points left. We'll bump a little into fear. We want to be a little scary. We want to put our last five points though. Psychokinetics allows to emit electric currents to magnetic fields. We want to put more stuff in here. Hacking, lock picking, traps, tailoring. I feel like tailoring would be really good for making like armors and stuff. Mechanics, psychometallics, ability to initiate rapid temperature changes in hardest exothermic and endothermic energies, thought control, ability to influence the minds of other living creatures through mental suggestion and domination, uh, get your control of your body, uh, this <laughs> I want to do these things, but oh man. This is, you know what? We're going with thought control. Yes. No, we're going with metal. We're going with psychokineticism. All right. Except, uh, oh, we must do feats. Okay. Uh, your non-critical firearm, crossbows, and melee attacks do additional damage equal to your, your non-critical fire. Yeah, sure. That sounds pretty good. Oh, okay. Oh, there's a lot of different things. Reduce armor penalty, dodge by. And grants bonus to dodge. Ninja looter, opportunist, that's more damage against rooted enemies. Pack hounds, carrying capacity. Paranormia, everyone is out to get you. Let's see, detection increased by 20%. You also get the 30 or 3% reduced critical. Our chance to get, uh, get hit critically is reduced by 3%. Also, your unarmed damage increased by. Oh, that's pretty good. I thought there would maybe be some negatives to that. Quick pockets, that's fine. Critically hit with all weapons, but also increase your chance to get critical. Ugh, no, okay, we, we're not tanky enough to be like deciding to do that. Mm. Perception, that's pretty good. Sure step. Able to safely navigate caltrops and puddles of acid. That's probably a pretty good one. Aim the shot, conform an aim shot with any ranged weapon, guaranteed critical hit. Ooh, hit and run. There's a lot of good suppressive fire. Okay. I like the expertise and the little extra damage. I think I'm gonna go with aim the shot. Because if we're gonna be like a sniper kind of class, I think aim shot's gonna be pretty important here. To be able to pick up. Alright, last topic of course. Earthquake repairs. Continue. What's the situation at the Sal Tunnel? Gotta dig deep into the plant to explosives, or we risk damage, more damage to the tunnel. Almost everyone is working shifts up there. Shouldn't be too long now. He nods. Gorski, how's the security looking? Got one man at the cave exit, and that's enough. As far as I'm concerned, automatic security is strong there, and as long as we know the crossroad and the, and the cove are clear, no one can sneak up on us. Also, got one man in the underpasses, and he's ordered not to open the gate no matter what. At least we need, the last thing we need right now is those bloody lurkers sneaking up on us. 
Everyone else up at the platforms, Kieran workers and tunnels. Good, good. If no one else has anything else to add, we can conclude this council meeting. Actually, just one more thing. In case you weren't informed already, I admitted a new citizen to the station. That Sergeant Keyline fellow? Yes, I think he'd be a good addition to this station. He and Vincel are still at the range, but they should be done any moment now, I believe. You put too much trust into your test, Turner or Tanner. All I care about is how he handles live action, not how many points he got. We'll find out soon enough. Best put him in work immediately. We all need hands on, on deck right now. Deed. That is all. Vera, Broski. All right. You know, so they're blowing tunnels up and making passages and stuff, and you know, protecting themselves. Vincel. An unexpected yawn interrupts Vincel. He instinctively raises his left hand to cover his mouth, forgetting that he's wearing a respirator. A tiny smile creeps up on your face due to this very fact. Yet you understand, after so many hours of testing, these kind of lapses tend to sneak up on people. He soon continues, Excuse me, all in, Sergeant Kina. As far as I'm concerned, we're done here. I've got a few other things to do, but unless you have another go at the testing range, you have no reason to stay here any lo longer. Uh, as a matter of fact, I'd like to give it one more try. I've never had access to range. Yeah, I definitely want to figure out, uh, you know, shooting. No problem, but, uh, no, well, it won't affect your previous results. I best it's guess we go through the whole procedure if, if this is your first time at the range. Okay, now I'll open the gate for you. Go through there. I'll be watching you through the cameras. We'll continue to get past the gate. All right, I'm ready. I'm assuming it's this right here because that's where the arrow is. Yes? No? Maybe? So? Okay, you know, there. Oh, over here. I'm going to assume now. All right. Uh, intercom. Loud and clear. Great. Now pick up your weapons and armor from the cabinet. I think there's a few EMPs left on the shelf as well. Uh, press tab to highlight interactive objects. Z to reverse the object. Okay. Any contents, blah, blah, blah. You can. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Words. Inventory is I. Uh, you can control A to take all items from a container. Okay. Uh, there will be three bots fighting against you like the first time, so choose an appropriate weapon to make sure you wear that armor. There was a guy a few years ago who forgot to put the armor on it well, and he didn't end good. Uh, to equip weapons and armor, open the inventory, double click any- okay. That's pretty, you know, intuitive right there. Understood. Alright. I uh, don't- uh, no, okay. Got it, I'll ring, you know, I need to open the cabinet, buddy. Okay, what do we got here? So, I guess we're gonna, you know, getting the armor, uh, not crossbows, you know, gun, gun ammo, about these shells, we can grab these, uh, EMP grenades, anything else in here that we would want? I mean, we can grab the, the knife, just in case, I don't think we're any good with it, but, you know, you could just, you know, be okay with that, alright, I, equip the armor, equip the gun, Equip the bullets. No, we don't gotta do that. Equip that. And have the knife in the other hand. Alright, I'm ready to go, dog. Let's go. Open the gate. I'm ready. Okay, so let's see here. Ow! Ow! Whoa! Whoa! When's it gonna be my turn? Holy crap, they got so many turn. What do you mean, out of ammo? What? What? Equip the ammo! Uh, shift left click. Uh, use... Reload my... Reload my weapon. Oh, there we... Oh, my God. Yay. Fire at them, please. Oh, there we go. Thank frickin' God. We figured it out. <laughs> so bad at this game. At least, we you know, we figured it out, okay? That's the important thing here. I didn't know we had to have it on our bars and shoot and all this other bullcrap, all right? Where's the last bot? Wasn't there three of them? Doesn't look like they can fire anymore. That's what I'm confused about. Now I'm still getting shot by one of them. Where is the... Can I turn my screen maybe? No, we don't want to do that. Where is the last bot? Oh, there it is right there. Okay. So we're good, right? They're all short-circuited, so that means we win? There we go. Right there. Okay. Let me out, buddy. That was embarrassing, to say the least. All right, locker. Good job, so Kena, I want you to pick up the items from that locker. There should be a battery, a hacksaw, and two lockpicks inside. 
Use the lockpick to unlock the door in the next room. All right, by left clicking on a locked object. Blah blah blah. Okay, okay, okay. Using a lockpick can be done either from the inventory more easily from the action bar. In the first case, right click your lockpick and then. Okay. All right. I think I think I get it. I think I get it. Uh, take that, that, and that, and then we walk over the door. It's locked. So we want to uh, put the lock picks on our bar. We want to use nine and then click on the door. All right, all right. You know it's making a little bit of sense. Lock disabled. We it does lose completely use our lock pick. I was I was wondering if you know it had a chance to break or something. Electronic. So that means we want to use the uh, hacksaw mark uh, two over here, right? It doesn't have any energy though. Foot locker. That means we probably have to grab the supercharged lithium and then seven on that to recharge the hacksaw. And then boom, bada bing, there we go. All right. The good thing we're doing this damn tutorial. Otherwise, we would be screwed, Arena. There is nothing even in there. What a disappointment. Yeah, empty. Is there any? Did I leave anything in there? Oh, that's also locked. Okay. So we have to use it twice. I see. Use a lot of energy to do that. Impossible. It's not charged enough, huh? Yeah. It needs to be have at least 30. Let's see. Can be used to disable. It consumes 10. Oh, okay. So these recharge 30 each. I see. All right. Come on. Get it open. You can do it. I believe. Impossible. This cannot be disabled this way because it is not an electronic. Oh, I'm retarded. I need to use this one, don't I? Yep. Well, thankfully, it doesn't use any energy when you mess up like that. Lock disabled. Open it up. Nothing in there either. Poop a Reno. All right. Have we basically been taught all of everything? Uh, you can now enter the final room. You got one sentry bot and a camera. Try to sneak around the bot if you can. Ah, this one will not shut down after just one hit, just to let you know. Get into stealth mode, both in and out of combat, but only if uh, no one can see you while you're activating it. While in stealth mode, all characters, friend or foe, will display an icon above their heads, which indicates whether they can see you or suspect that you're sneaking around. Your skill, proximity to a character, Illumination and whether you're in front or behind it all will determine how you you remain hidden Suffering a hit while in stealth mode will instantly reveal you so will bumping into any character Okay, also the camera is you no matter how good you think you're hiding so it's best if you avoid its line of sight completely Stealth offers many advantages you can pick how and when you initiate combat or even avoid it altogether You are completely in charge of the outcome of an encounter also certain abilities only work when in stealth you can use them to cause massive damage on unexpected targets, for instance. Sounds plays an important role in Underrail since loud sounds can attract characters to investigate what's going on. Use quiet weapons like crossbows or knives is a good way to make sure a silent assassin remains truly silent. I guess. Okay, so let's see. The tactical vest might be the most appropriate thing for sneaking, but it will might not wait might be the most important appropriate thing for sticking but it will do now uh, of course there are drawbacks to most important which is armor penalty wearing heavy army allows severely reduced effective stealth, stealth skill or even downright make it unuseless so be aware of what ghoul gear you have that's crucial all right got it i'll let you know if i have any more questions uh how do okay stealth mode so let's see here where is this so-called camera? Because as long as the camera doesn't see me, everything is fine and dan- Ah, uh, no. You don't see me, dog. No one is here. Completely invisible. There we go. Where's that bot going? Okay. Oh, God. Camera sees me. Camera sees me. Nope. No camera seeing me. Uh, no? Oh, god dang it. Well, we tried. We tried. It's gonna take a while to actually get good at stealth, I'm going to assume. It's kind of hard. I wish we could rotate the camera a little bit. I don't know if that's a thing. I'd have to look into the options. So this one's, you know, like you said, is not gonna go down in one shot. It's gonna take multiple shots of shooting him to finally get him deactivated. 
It's much stronger than before. Whoa! Why did I just waste all of my action points right there? That was retarded. Thankfully, this does no damage to me, but that was just, you know, an entire huge waste of a move. So close. We need a little, just a little bit more action points, and then we can get three shots off in one round. There we go. Keep the sentry bot. Alright. Stealth mode. Can't do anything. Camera can definitely see me still. Oh, we can shoot the camera out. Oh, yeah, that would have been very important to do. So... We're gonna have to wait a little bit. Okay, so that's cool. This doesn't work off uh, turns, it works off cooldown. I thought maybe they would all work on turns and things like that, like everything would be turn-based, but apparently not. That's interesting. I thought it would be like, well, in three turns of moving, you'd be able to do it, but no, that's not how it works. You gonna let me in? Alright, thanks, buddy. We're all good? Let me out. I'm done with this tutorial. I think I got the basics of the game. Alright, talk. Uh, you see Frown, he, so he speaks in a... So was that what it was all about? What did the cameras ever do to you? I mean, there was no reason to do that, man. Uh, you never told me it, it was an inevitable. Man, we've never had anyone destroy any of our cameras, ever. Damn it, I'll have to take care of this. Harold, could you come here? Or, I'll think of something. He gives you an angry look once more, then he yawns. Anyways, we're finally done. Um, uh, I'm sorry, dog, but, you know, I didn't want the cameras to see me. Uh, will my performance on this run affect my overall results? Nope, although I should put in that you're a camera smasher. I'll think about it. Alright, I'm done here. Let's go check out my new room. Alright. So, let's see. Nothing more. Welcome to the Southgate Station. Now go get some rest. Alright. I'm an official camera smasher. So this is my new place. Oh look, I got my own personal computer. All right, it's time to install WoW. <laughs> uh, security scope, Sergeant Kenai, personal access level four, personal messages, uh, key card for Wayne. I fixed the door on the key card to work fine. If you haven't found it yet, the key card should be in your desk, okay? Welcome from Tanner, congratulations, you passed all the tests we presented to you in the past weeks, and now you are a full citizen of Southgate Station. On behalf of the entire community, I welcome you into our fold. Visit me in the office in the comments as soon as you've seen the rest of blah 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 duties. Okay, so, let's exit that. We need to go to our desk and grab our currency out, our key card, and probably the compass is pretty important too. We got anything on our shelves? No. What about our locker? We have some hypo health, some bandages. What about in this locker? We got some armor. Hmm. No matter how hard you try to wash it out, the faint stench of filthy creature remains. So, equip persuasion decreased by three? I guess because it's rat armor? Can I even wear this? Is it too small for me? Patching kit, all right. Medical repair kit. And I think that's about it. That's gonna send me outside. Foot locker. We got one more thing to check, and it's empty. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and end this episode here today, and I'll see you guys next time with many more under rail to come. Can't wait to see where this game evolves into, and if maybe you know, maybe I'll get better. Maybe, maybe, but we'll see. Anyways, I'm Sergeant Kenai, and I'm Sergeant.